For anyone out there that's either doing DoorDash or Instacart, I want to show you something that really helped me out to kind of get more control or to figure out what exactly your finances look like. Now, this Google Sheet strategy actually helped me figure out everything I needed for tax season. With what I'm about to show you guys in this video, it's going to allow you to know exactly how much you're spending on gas, how much you're bringing in from either DoorDash or any other of your business ventures and it kind of keeps you organized throughout the year so without any further ado let's go ahead and check out what I'm talking about with Google Sheets. Alright so to show you guys an example of exactly what I do and how I create a kind of like a financial template or kind of like a budgeting system just so that you're always aware of what you're bringing in and what's also coming out this is the template that I have for you guys right here now i might make this into a link or something that you guys can have in the in a future video maybe if you guys are interested in this but it's, it's really simple you can probably just follow along with this video and create it for yourself but how i do it is of course we have at the bottom here let me actually move my camera here so at the bottom here you see that we do have um, a few different categories we have gas we have mileage we have other and then we also have pay so if you're running your own business out there this is pretty much your gas expenses I do have date in the a column then I have the place in the B column C is going to be amount and then our E is going to be the total of everything, okay? So pretty much we're going to be able to know how much we are spending on gas a month and then all those months will calculate into how much we spent on gas for the year. Of course, we want to be able, or we want to know and keep track of all of our receipts so we can go into tax season hopefully being able to write off a lot of this mileage and also a lot of these gas expenses so we of course have gas we have mileage because you can write mileage off when you're doing these gig work or these gig economy apps you can do this i was doing it with instacart i'm also doing it with doordash so this is going to be helpful okay other is if you you know you're conducting your own business so if you have to spend any money on anything if it's insulated bags or if it's anything like a car charger or a car anything okay anything of that nature you can write that off because it's helping you conduct business it's bringing more money to you or to your business so that's why we have a column for other and then of course the one that we're all going to love is the pay okay so i do have everything scheduled or not scheduled but everything labeled out from date company on where our payment is coming from either instacart doordash and then our amount so let's go ahead into this real quick so say we so after you have the date the place and then the also the amount what i usually like to do is i will start maybe on uh, row three and then for the total what you want to do here is you want to click this box right here and then you want to go to this button right here and then select sum so this is going to be the sum of all of the amounts in this column so we want to click here and then we want to just drag so say we're just going to start off with, you can always change this later, but we're going to start off with 100, okay? Then we're going to press enter. So every total that we start from here onto 100 is going to be summed up in into this right here. So say we're gonna put in a random date. Let's say we went this month for, uh, let's go on the 20th. How about that? 23 our place that we got gas we will go with shell and then we will type in we spent twenty dollars at the pump boom there we go all right so say we had a really busy day and we need to go get gas again the very next day so on the 21st we went to shell yet again and then this time we bought 25 dollars worth of gas 
boom, everything is going to be totaled for you in that E column. So now by the end of the month, so say, you know, we went all the way down here and then we could use, we could just have a space in between each month and then we could start like this. So I feel like this is a great way to just stay organized with everything. So everything is just in front of you. I don't know how you guys like to see your numbers and stuff. I'm, I'm more of a numbers guy. So I kind of like to see it just organized, all right? And if it's organized, there's a method to all the madness, then I can better understand where I need to pay either more attention to or, you know, what I need to be doing. If it's a down week, if it's an up week, if I spent a little bit too much, but didn't bring enough in when it comes to DoorDash or into the cart, this is something that I would like to do. So now with this column or with this break right here, with this row break we can uh see you know each month so we can go look at all the amounts for each month we can type it into a calculator or we can make a different column for each month if we really wanted to but this is just an example on how i would document my gas expenses so for mileage we will pretty much do the same thing all right so we will go here and then we will uh go click this button sum and then we want to the sum from three all the way down to a hundred. Now you can change this later. If you have a lot more days calculated or a lot more days documented, then you could go from, you know, three to 200, you know what I mean? So you can always change that later. It's not forever set. So say for this month, we went did this 23 we went all around town for 57 miles and 57.6 how about that and then the next day we went and we did 65 miles usually the average so it tracks all of your mileage down of course you can have apps out there that'll help you like grid wise and all that other stuff i use all of it i still use grid wise but i also document everything for myself so i can see that but just it's just easy you know what i'm saying it's just easy you might as well log all of your steps or all of your things every day so you're always on top of everything so if you are audited it's not a problem because you got receipts you know your numbers and everything like that so it's pretty much the same for everything else that i really do here so for other if we had to buy insulated bags from amazon or if we had to go and get something from the store that was going to help us bring more money or bring more revenue to our business then of course we will put that in the other column or the other list and then pay of course is the same exact thing like i showed you on everything else so hopefully this really helps you guys out this was just a way for me to kind of just look at everything for what it really was and not really guess i wanted to just take all the guessing out of how much was coming in how much was coming out so let me know if this helps you guys down below the more likes that i get on this video the more i'm going to want to put out more videos like this for either content creators or maybe even if you want more things like this for doordash or also instacart so y'all let me know down below now if you found value in this video make sure to smash a like on it so the algorithm could do its thing and show others who might need this content make sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys want to learn more and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this one I, I this is just what i do so if it works for me maybe it'll work for you if not of course you can make your own tweaks to this but i just had to show you my template all right so thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next video.